So the reviews are going to start here at some point, in this massive glass desk facing the wall of speakers, which needs to be prettied up, and then curtains, and then... <sighs> Let's go do a review. Without that light. Like a boss. Oh, potential wallpapers. I think I've used that one before. This! <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, um, this is a Sonkaz DAC. Sonkaz. It's a DAC brand I ain't never heard of, and this one, the big one, there's two of them, there's a little one over there, is the SGD1. SGD1. I can't, I have to look at it, because it's just those letters don't flow. And it's unique, at least in one or two ways. First... This is a huge DAC, bigger footprint than I think the 789. And when I unboxed it, I noted that the whole front is glass. Goddamn fingerprints, son of a bitch. You shouldn't have to worry about the fingerprints on this one as much as other units where I complain about fingerprints because it's not like there's a touch screen up here. The only control, in fact, is this knob, which lets you make things dance. Um, and then we go it again. Okay, that's that. If I hold it, is that off? Hold it, then I get to pick that. Okay. So that's the filter settings, the things I don't care about. Appetizing brick wall. Fam, foul, higher, slim, and SSL. SLL. So I don't, I don't care. I don't care about filters. You guys, if you guys are into filters, let me know. Up here, you get a lot of inputs. This almost has the most inputs of any DAC that I've ever come across. Because here's what we got. USB-A, USB-C. Wait, is that... It's got a different... Can I do that per? Hold on, I may have just figured something out. Let's make this one slim. So then press once. Foul. Holy crap, you could have a different filter per input. I didn't even try that because I don't really care about filters. But Okay, okay, okay. It's got two USB inputs. I've never seen that before in my entire life. It's got a full-size USB and a USB-C. Completely different computers you could set up for this thing. Or your phone and a computer. Whatever you want. Then Bluetooth, which I'm stuck on now. Then AES, which is the, like, pro-level digital inter interconnect. Then, the hell is that? Optical. And then, uh, co to digital, which is what I'm currently using. And that just simply indicates that we are... I actually don't know what that indicates. I don't know. Yeah, so the back of this unit is like jam-packed. USB-B, I'm sorry, it's USB-B over USB-C, toslink, coaxial in, coaxial out, AES in, and then here's your balanced and RCA outs, and here's your main power switch and this. Now, I'm not a huge fan of power switches only in the back, but with DACs, it's different because I never turn them off. I don't turn DACs off. Like, they, they don't get warm, usually. I'm not saying that no DACs get warm. There are some that just get like, hmm, that's a little toasty. Like the Magic DAC somehow generates electricity to the point of, or a signal or something's going on inside of it that I, I want to shut it off at night. But this, it's been on since I got it like three weeks ago. Oh, I should also mention, this was sent to me um, by two companies. Linsoul, which I've known for years and I've used for years. And they're like, hey, we want to we send you this new DAC song cause. And I said yes to that like three months ago. And it took like two months for them to send it. So at some point, since they asked me that, I forgot. And then a new website that I've never heard of before messages me. And they're Beach Hi-Fi. And Beach Hi-Fi is like, hey, I want to send you a stack. And I'm like, cool. And theirs got here before Linsol's did. So we'll see. Linsol, I'll, I'll link to both places in the description. Um, Beach Hi-Fi is, I like their logo. It came with a sticker. Hold on. Of course, you can't go wrong. With a cool, colorful, like, I like color. I just like fun. And I want to think about going to the beach while using my hi-fi. So there you go. I'll link to them in the description. Them and Linsol. And it's a $460 DAC, which is like... We're in a level, a, a, a space, where we're not at, like, top-of-the-line DACs. You're not in D90 and higher. But we're not at, like... Oh, this is just like the topping E30. It's like a good DAC. It's a very good DAC. 
we're in this like happy zone that I, really there are no just straight DACs that do this. So it was nice to play with one in this price range and see how it compares. And I'm going to say the word favorably. Now, um, of course, the headphones I'm using are ones I've used in the past. I will, when I move over to the other side of the basement, I'll have my headphone wall on that wall. It'll be speakers and then headphones. So I don't have to go upstairs and downstairs and upstairs and downstairs to get things. Um, Civica Phoenix. Balance a, a Viking weave cable into an adapter into the Gashelli Labs Erish, which is coming off the balance end of this. And then the topping um, L30, which is single-ended, which is going into the Zeus, the Harmonic Dyne Zeus. Playing around with those for a little bit longer. You know, this is sort of like part of the testing phase. Let's see if I can tell the difference between this and this and this and this. But we're not here to talk about these. We're here to listen and talk about the song cause. So let me continue. Oh, I turned the, I muted it. I muted it. How do I unmute with the button? Because here's a remote. Oh, there it goes. It faded up. How nice. It's muted again. Um, there is a remote, and it's not a carbon copy of all the other remotes. It actually puts the volume down at the bottom. Then you have up, down, left, right, filter, mute, USB, -B, US USB, -B, USB C, Bluetooth, optical, RCA, and AS. You get your six inputs volume, up, down, left, right, mute. And mute, I should mo point this out because it's kind of one of the reasons I think people are going to buy this is can you see the ring around? So I have my reflection. You see the ring around the volume? It's blinking because it's muted. If I unmute it, it's just lit. However, I'm not really using this as a preamp. It's just full up. If you lower this, either through the knob or via the, R the remote, where is it? It just cuts away that ring. So that's your indicator. Instead of giving you a big LCD with a number that says 99, 98, it just slowly arcs over the volume control. And that's cool as hell, number one. I have one other unit here that's doing that, but we're not talking about that yet. But that, it, it, it's very, very subtle in its looks. Like the build is just, it's it's like the 789. If the 789 had an actual matching DAC, this would be perfect for it. Just, just front fascia, sharp edges, vents in the sides and bottom. I want to point out one thing that Beach Hi-Fi has that I've never really seen, and I'm not sure if this is provided by Sonkaz, but there's this like animation showing the whole unit being pulled apart and all the different linear transformers in the side, and it's pointing out things and it like pulls it apart. Like, did they do this? Because I've never seen this sort of like thing on other websites. So that's kind of a cool thing, actually. We're, like traveling through it, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It does have Bluetooth 5.0, I should add. I should add it has Bluetooth 5, because I don't want to mess that up. I'm going to put this back to maximum, because I'm using it as a line-out, not a pre-out. This was in use upstairs. My entire giant great room with all the speakers that echo like crazy. I was using this. So my TV was hooked up to this. I'm Okay. Crazy's on my shopping list. That's. I don't know that one. It's fine. It's fine. The government's listening. It's fine. So this has been in use on speakers mostly because it's been just it's just easy to use. It stays on all the time. It never gets warm. It's got a volume control separate on the bottom. And now I've sat it down here and given it a linear little baby amplifier. I should have had the THX uh, one out here somewhere. It's, it's things have been shifting. I'm trying to like clear this off. You notice this thing's missing, so I could bring to the back. And I'm still using the topping D10S to convert my laptop here to have a coax digital to plug into this. And I'm gonna have that Pi to AES. Makes interesting noises. Um, but listening, can we please fucking get to the? It's a DAC. The DAC with an interesting feature. What's its quirk? Oh, it has two USBs ins. Sold. Under 500? Sold. Good for headphones? Sold. Great for speakers? Perfect. It does not... Ha the only thing I'm... It sort of lacks is like the display. I love the little thing above and below the volume knob. I should turn it. 
But unless you know precise, unless it's on your desk, and I'm not mean like like over there on your desk, I mean like here, to actually see what's going on, like, oh yeah, let's just switch to the remote, it's easier. So USB-B, USB-C, Bluetooth, optical, RCA. I just realized it calls that RCA. It, even though it's it's coaxial digital, it's calling it RCA on the remote. Okay, I'll give it that. It's it's they fit four letters there, so coax would have worked. Why not just write coax instead of RCA? I don't know. These are the little details that I don't care about because I'm CEO, so I don't care. It's just it's all good. It's all good. I have nothing really negative to say about this this DAC. It's not overpriced. It's certainly pretty. Like if I had to like give it like it's, it's pretty. It's good enough, right? It's good enough to look at. It's subdued and subtle, which is one of the reasons I wanted to use it on my rolling TV cart, but I'm going to end up not using a DAC on there at all and just coming out the headphone out of my Sony. I'll live with it, trust me. But sitting down here with like the quality headphones that I understand on amps that I understand the capabilities of it, and I have to change Isuzuku, Isuzuku Reviewers soundtrack, we could change that. What is this under? Flack. Oh, it's under singles. Okay. There we go. Put that up. Oh, it's so loud. No, I was like, oh, did I try high, high down? No. It... See, only a couple DACs that I listen to stand out. As far as like, what is this doing to this? And I, I've, I've heard these on this before, or those on that a couple times. Very rarely, I just got them down here. But even listening on speakers, this sort of sounded a little bit softer. And I don't know if it's the SLL preset. Actually, I could test that. So we just hit the filter button and it filter, sc scrolls through filters. Make the go. Was it up and down? Yeah, there you go. Up and down does the filter selection. So here, let's play this again. This is Velveteen, The Great Divide, which is a great song, by the way. No. I think you just can't fail with these headphones. No matter what DMS says. I think this whole DAC is a little bit softer. Like, not warm and, like, excessive like the own X8 Magic DAC. That thing with the swapped op amps is just like, wow, that sounds completely different than other DACs. And then I have it in the Rebel amp, which is like a Class A, but warm, and, like, it cuts off the highs a little bit. So this whole thing is just complete fuckery, and I love it. Then I've got, like, the straightforward Modius and the A90, and that's like... Mm. This is what this is. This is your music now. So going with like linear, super linear here and this super linear here and noticing a slight, just the ever slightest difference in like the output of the sound of this to just like pleasant means it gets a, a, it gets a recommendation over other slightly cheaper DACs that normally would be like, ah, they're all the same. So are all DACs the same? Mm -hmm. No comment. Zeus is ending up in that no comment mark. I still don't believe in $10,000 DAX or even $5,000 DAX. Like at some point, it's just, just give me the fucking music. I'll worry about the amp and the headphones and the environment I'm listening in. And if I clean my ears that week, those things will matter way more. Notice I didn't say wires, but way more than, you know, how your DAC slightly may affect the signal output because there is an amplifier in this. It's a digital input and an analog conversion, and then a slight analog amplification to push it up to, in the case of balance, four volts. So it's not like there's not doing stuff that could be improved with more money thrown at the problem. It's just a matter of how much do you care? Because uh, I'm at that point now where it's like, all right, does it do its job? Okay. Does it do anything bad? I'm more worried about it doing something bad. 
Does it randomly turn off when you listen to music? Does the remote suck? Does the batteries just catch fire? Okay, it doesn't do any of those things. So what does it do more than everything else? Interesting having two USBs, because some people are just, I would normally, if this was me, the old apartment, I would have had the Windows 10 laptop here, and I would have hooked it up USB-C, and I would have played it with like that. But I'm sort of strapped for computers at this moment, so I have them all over the house running. So you're gonna have to just bear with me on using a coaxial in. Trust me on that, it's fine. Fine. Find where you're happiest and just be like, this is fine. I don't need to buy anymore. Le unsubscribe from ZS. I've got, if you got what you got, you got what you need, unsubscribe. Save yourself all the heartache of just going through years of buying more and more and more and more expensive things and then you just end up in a pile in your basement and you're crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have much more to say about this DAC. I'm trying to keep it short. Short and sweet. I don't want to seem like I don't give a shit. Because if you look at the time code and it's like nine minutes. Wow, ZS must really hate this product. I just don't think I need to rant on for 30 minutes about a DAC. Not if I don't have any like interesting stories or quirks and features to come to dwell on. It's good. It could end it could legitimately end up in like a stack. Like for headphones, yeah, just crank it to the maximum, you're done. You don't even need the remote. Throw the remote away. For speakers, like for what I was using for upstairs, it was ideal. I could AES from the Pi from the Pi hat. It, it's got I don't want to say it's like a soft, warm DAC, because then it makes me seem like a fucking person who's just like, oh, now Zeos is starting to hear differences in DACs. But my perception of it is just like, that's smooth. Like, I know this is a, a great amp, and I know this is a great amp, and I know this is a fucking fantastic. And you probably haven't seen the review of this yet because I haven't made it. And I know these are like, well, it's $500 a set of harmonic dines. So, yes. But this, I'm not offended by this being on my desk. That's probably the best I could tell you. It's like, oh, you have a song cause deck? Quality stuff. Move on. D90, a little bit pricey. A lot of it pricey. 700 bucks. This is still almost 500 though. So you're getting like, like why not just get the D90? Well, this has a, certainly a better volume control if you're doing speakers with it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a tough call. Because no one's ever heard of song cause. And I'm going to sit down literally right after this review and pull out a whole other review for this, which is basically a smaller version of this for less, with buttons and like it's. This is my this is my first introduction to a brand, so you got to give me give me a little while to come up because maybe everything else it makes sucks. I mean, I've actually used this on the the speaker demos, so I know this thing has proved itself, and I use this upstairs in speakers, so I know this thing has proved itself. So I don't know what else to say, right? All right. If you want to download her, she's in the description of this video. Links to this on both um, Hi-Fi Beach and Linsoul. Sorry for getting both. They need to tighten that or it bangs. Like here is fine, but there it might need a little support underneath it. Um, yeah, that's it. Please help me lose my mind. Or please help me from becoming homeless. Uh, but of course I can't pay my mortgage payments by supporting on Patreon or Subscribestar. Um, five dollars gets you into the behind. Five dollars gets you into. Wow. See these reviews early. Ask me any questions you want on Patreon or subscribe star. I currently have a hundred questions still. Still, even though I said it like the last three days, I still have a hundred questions unanswered. And then participate in the yard sales, which usually I ship internationally for half shipping, but with COVID, it's messing things up real bad. So I have to decide what I'm going to do with that. Uh, but content of the United States is still okay, so I ship for free content of the United States. First to the 10th of every month. And then there's the $10 behind the scenes private Telegram chat, where if you have very specific questions that you need answered like immediately, you jump in that with the 200 other people and everyone there will be helpful. There's, there's really, everyone's helpful. Everyone there likes audio. Everyone there understands my opinions and doesn't you know necessarily call them law, but they have at least advice they can give you. So feel free to check out the $10 tier, and that works on both subscribers to our Patreon. And then Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums. We've got like 10,000 consecutive users on the forums at any given time, and then another 10,000 people who are just guests. So that's pretty freaking wild that there's 20,000 people on the site all the time. So if you want to check out Hi-Fi Guides, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, what else do I have to talk about right now? Nothing. I'm going to swap this out for that one, set everything back up, 
I'm not even gonna change headphones or anything because I know exactly how this sounds and I'll see what this can do. And then there'll be another video, probably not tomorrow, but later? Right? Right. Right, Akane. Right. Thank you.